In Hong Kong, the two greatest challenges of air quality control are local street level pollution and regional smog. To better maintain public health, the government has rolled out a series of initiatives to reduce emission from motor vehicles, marine vessels, and power plants. At PolyU, a group of professors is committed to putting forward new innovative solutions to improve air quality in the city. Vehicle emission has long been a serious issue in Hong Kong, where emissions of different vehicles consistently exceed the standards formulated by the Environmental Protection Department. Professor Lee and his team seeks to find solutions to mitigate traffic-related air pollution. They have developed an air cleaning system, which is designed to install on highways and bus stops to remove traffic-related emissions. During the trials, our air cleaning system has successfully lowered the roadside pollution by 20 to 30 percent. It is a major breakthrough in our research. If more air cleaning systems are installed at bus stops or interchanges in the future, it will be highly beneficial to public health. If we look further to the countryside, air quality does not necessarily get any better. To investigate the urban-terrestrial-oceanic interactions and their impact on air pollution, Professor Wang and his team spent the last five years conducting comprehensive field studies at different supersites, including Hok Joy situated at the southeastern tip of Hong Kong Island. It is found that reactive gases from soils, trees, and oceans would combine with urban air pollutants to form secondary pollutants like ozone and particulates. Our research investigates the formation mechanism of air pollutants and the interactions of emissions from urban areas, vegetation, and oceans. Our goal is to advocate evidence-based mitigation strategies for the community to control VOC and NOx emissions. That way, we can enhance people's well-being and foster the development of a greener Hong Kong, China, and Asia. While there's an abundance of outdoor air quality research, indoor air quality is often a neglected discipline. In fact, it demands equal attention and actually has significant impact on public health and comfort. To improve indoor air quality and health, Professor Guo and his team have developed a versatile model for whole range airborne transmission of virus-containing expiratory droplets. The model analyzes two main components the size distributions of airborne droplets from expiratory activities such as speaking, coughing and sneezing and the relationship between virus content in the droplets and the distance from its release point. Our validated model seeks to develop better methods for wireless spread prevention. This would raise public awareness of the spread and survival of the virus in the air. Ultimately, we wish to provide evidence-based control measures to construct healthy indoor environment to combat any future pandemic that comes in our way. PM2.5 is one of the most life-threatening air pollutants. It can penetrate and deposit in the human lungs and other body parts, causing many health problems, even premature deaths. However, not all components or emission sources of PM2.5 are equally toxic. In view of this, Professor Lee's research aims to identify the key PM2.5 toxic components and emission sources that contribute to the acute toxicity of PM2.5, particularly in the exacerbation of index diseases of the pulmonary and cardiovascular systems. Any evidence discovered would serve to inform local and international institutions in formulating appropriate policies and actions. Through unwilling new evidence of PM2.5 toxicity, our research is anticipated to develop precise and transformative health-oriented air quality control measures for the benefit of policymakers and practitioners to mitigate the health effects of air PM2.5 pollution and enhance public health in the long run. Breathe in, breathe out. Every breath we take matters. Thanks to this group of devoted professors at PolyU and their innovative research on air quality, we're on track to minimize the health impacts of air pollution and make Hong Kong a more eco-friendly city. By advancing the frontier of knowledge and technology research, 
We, together, make our society or even the world a better place.